just take one good look at yourselves in the mirror. Because it's a Damn. disgrace. As the name suggests, it's a red-hot challenge to whip up a fabulous signature dish on Hell's Kitchen. You never know what the cooks are going to prepare. And while some contestants create heavenly cuisine, other concoctions are downright evil. Host Gordon Ramsay is never one to hold back on making his opinion known, which makes it easy to tell when a dish is a success or a total failure. His colorful language does all the tasting anyone at home needs to know when a disaster dish presents itself. Here are the worst signature dishes from Hell's Kitchen. So where are they? Kimberly's overprepped pasta. Kimberly? Yes, sir. That is a mess. By season 16, the contestants had a good idea about what passes on Hell's Kitchen and what doesn't. Or you would think. In this season premiere episode, contestants were treated to a show before they had to perform themselves. <laughs> I see tanks, I see fences, and I'm like, oh my god! Then, as always, the chefs were assigned the task of cooking their signature dish. Here was their chance to really impress Gordon. Some did, and some didn't. The contestants were off in what looked like a professional working kitchen. It seemed like a good sign, but the moment of truth would come later, when Gordon critiqued the dishes on looks and flavor for better or for worse. This was the opportunity of a lifetime for so many of these cooks, and a bad dish could be a painful end of the road. It wasn't a good start for Kimberly, whose pappardelle pasta with clams was a little too prepared. Obviously fresh clams. I use one can of canned clams. It was bad enough that Kimberly didn't make her own pasta, but integrating a can of clams slammed her down early. Even the audience knew this was a fatal mistake. Fresh ingredients are key to high-level cooking, and when a contestant like Kimberly doesn't use them, the result isn't good. You cannot make the words canned clams sound good ever. Gaurav's tuna steak. Some contestants are just destined to get the axe early on. One of those contestants was Gorov, an executive chef with a mission. Ramsay might be the perfect example that a career as a chef is no profession to sneeze at, as long as you have the chops. The question about whether Gorov could deliver or not answered itself in not only his truly terrible signature dish, but in his cooking methods. First came the dish presentation. Pretty sultry expectations for Gorov's tuna. In the restaurant challenge, Gurov's cooking methods proved to be a little more casual than the norm. I come here, you. We do not stick our fingers in. In one of Gordon's most pissed off moments on Hell's Kitchen, we saw Gorov's food and kitchen experience go hand in hand. In the end, an awful signature dish, poor cooking protocol, and a tendency towards mistakes in the restaurant challenge was just too much. Kevin's pitiful piadina. Let me ask you something. Do you want to go home? Oh, God. The first signature challenge on Hell's Kitchen is always full of hopefuls eager to get into the kitchen and make their mark on the culinary world. It's all too common for chefs to try a little too hard in the season premiere, and that's exactly what happened to Kevin when he prepared his classically pitiful piadina during the hectic signature challenge. And when the time came for the very first tasting for Kevin, it was a disaster. Honestly, it looks terrible. The dough's uneven. Things got worse when Gordon began picking away. Using pre-made dough on a dough-based dish was not exactly cooking. Not even making dressing, one of the most basic skills of any kitchen chef, was the thing that sent Gordon over the edge. Kevin. Store-bought dough? Store-bought Caesar salad dressing? Do you want to go home? If Gordon Ramsay asks you if you'd like to go home, it's time to majorly step up your game. Kevin responded in the only way a contestant in that position can. There's no place else but up. Oh. Think outside the package box. Time and time again, we see chefs trying to take shortcuts in an effort to make great food when competing with the clock. But, of course, there's no easy way out, especially on Hell's Kitchen. One chef slid through with perhaps the most unforgivable shortcut of all. Mike's background as an Italian chef, specializing in pasta and tomato sauce at his own restaurant, should have made his entry into the first signature dish challenge a breeze. But the high pressure of Hell's Kitchen atmosphere gets to even the most confident chefs. And it seemed that, despite his expertise, Mike decided to cook using the easiest 
easiest route possible. Uh, that is, if you call it cooking. Mike's cheese tortellini and marinara sauce should have been authentic and full of heart, since this cuisine was exactly what Mike was all about. It could be his perfect signature dish, but packaged fresh tortellini wouldn't exactly impress Gordon. Well, maybe there was something special about the sauce. And in the trash it went. The thing about cooking shows is that you're expected to actually cook your dishes. Mike was a little confused, though, because he didn't seem to understand Gordon's reaction. Better luck next time, Mike. Get out of here! Bad rub with watermelon. You had 45 minutes to make me anything, and you grill me a slice of melon. Yes, sir. While many of the bad dishes we see on Hell's Kitchen come from inexperienced or nervous cooks, sometimes a chef just had a bad day. That was the case from season 13 contestant Latasha. Her warm demeanor and can-learn attitude proved that Latasha was a top culinary mind throughout the Hell's Kitchen season. But back at the season premiere, Latasha didn't put her best foot forward, and the result was a lackluster underachievement that failed to wow Gordon. Rather than trying to do too much, like most new contestants, Latasha went the other direction and chose to play hey! It didn't pay off, a flimsy dish that wasn't good or memorable. This wasn't even close to the caliber of cooking that Latasha would later achieve. This hickory-rubbed watermelon scored lowest marks for Latasha's team, but this contestant learned from her mistake, and as the season went on, she became an absolute force. By the end, Latasha cooked her way to the finale and won. Just goes to show, everyone has a bad dish once in a while. Seriously? Gordon, the dove breast guinea pig. You absolutely the word bolognese. We've seen some pretty crazy stuff on Hell's Kitchen, but nothing has been quite as outlandish as this contestant's bravado to serve Gordon a complete and total experiment. As the clock whittled down to time's up, the chefs maintained a cool, confident demeanor as they prepared to present their very first signature dish challenge. It may have been season 16, but it was still anyone's guess what on earth Gordon would be presented to dine on. Tonight, he'd definitely have a first. Hmm. Dove breast is a nicer way of saying pigeon, but it doesn't change what it is. Here's an idea. If no one's jumping up and down to cook pigeon, maybe they're onto something. Once again, trying too hard didn't pay off. While creative, this tactic didn't bode well with Gordon, particularly when it turns out... Never even made it before, but... Oh no. Making Gordon Ramsay your guinea pig for a potentially disgusting dish you've never made before is a terrible, terrible idea. Describe it. Gamey? Good luck, Gordon. Yeah, we guessed that. There you go. One of the very worst dishes on Hell's Kitchen. The pigeon. The pigeon. The one that everybody would be scared to cook with. <laughs> Antonia's Mardi Gras party foul. Yes, it's pretty much a sure thing that the first episode of any season is going to have the worst dishes. During this episode, it's a trial and error test run in a way. Contestants shake out their nerves while getting a good look to see who their competition is. Indeed, many chefs will step up their game after this initial signature dish round. For those who move on from the first round, a failed signature dish may become ancient history. But no dish will ever be remembered quite like Antonia's from season 8. The chefs were ready to show off everything they knew about cooking and food. And one would think, being on Hell's Kitchen, these contestants already knew quite a bit about food. But we can assume that Antonia very definitely did not know much about food at all. Antonia's signature dish was on regular rotation at home, so this should have been a shoe in. Nope, this dish was inedible. This worst dish in Hell's Kitchen history was so bad, Gordon... Making Gordon puke is the epitome of low. But Gordon couldn't let it go. When Antonia said... Gordon refused... This move clearly showed just how incredibly bad Antonia's gumbo tasted. None of the contestants could stomach it. While humiliating, by making this dish, Antonia must have completely lost her mind. In the end, Gordon finally threw the unbelievable gumbo in the trash. Monique's Mediocre Marinara Tell me about the marinara sauce. I want to know how you made it. It's just from a jar. The pressure of cooking in front of a live studio audience might have been a bit much for the contestants during the first episode of season 14. Several of our worst dishes on Hell's Kitchen were cooked all at the same time. As always, at the beginning of the episode, the chefs were off, setting about the kitchen making their very first dish for Gordon. All the while, hundreds of people watched their every move. Maybe it was the pressure? 
Maybe there was something in the air, but these chefs just did not deliver the kind of first impression needed for the master chef Gordon Ramsay. The last of the women to present her dish was Monique. Full of confidence, Monique needed her dish to deliver so the women could win the first signature dish challenge. Unfortunately, it didn't go well. So you didn't even make the marinara sauce? No. I don't think there's anything wrong with canned sauce. Moe's pasta was not entirely her own. Rather, her marinara sauce came from a can. Monique was shocked that this was not acceptable, and Gordon was shocked that she had the gall to even put canned sauce in her dish. Maybe Monique didn't get the memo that marinara sauce can be made by anyone, not just Italians. That rookie mistake earned her the lowest ranking and a loss for the women's first challenge. You serve him some jar sauce, and then you stand at the pass arguing with him. <laughs> Mika's Shrimp Cake Catastrophe. Wow. It isn't half bad. It's all bad. At the beginning of the signature dish tasting round, the women looked like they were hitting their stride. They had not a single misstep until it came to poor Mika, a sous chef from Maryland. She made her way into the restaurant kitchen working from the bottom up, and one would think she'd have a pretty good grasp when it came to creating a fabulous dish versus a bad one. Maybe her days working in fast food weren't far enough behind her, or maybe she just had a bad judgment call. But what was clear was that Mika's signature dish was one sample she should remove from her repertoire, shrimp cake with asparagus and peach salsa. The dish looked all right, and it sounded good in theory, but when it came to the most important part, the way the dish actually tasted, she completely missed the mark. Ouch. Gordon had nothing else to say. It was simply not good at all. Mika knew how terrible her dish really was. Still, she made it through the next round. Looks like she learned her lesson. When you're on Hell's Kitchen, you need to bring your A game. Let's just let this be over. Chrissa's Ginger Cookie Chicken. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. Really? Oh. I mean that is hideous. Sorry. It's a huge rush to even compete on Hell's Kitchen, but running through the kitchen stadium for the first time and with the crowd cheering you on is an exhilarating experience unlike any other these chefs have ever experienced before. This is a place where only the top contenders survive and there's no room for a bad dish. Unfortunately, contestant Krissa got a little too creative under the pressure. I was in the cookie aisle. I was trying to get ideas and I have ginger cookies. <laughs> When it was her turn to present her dish on behalf of the women's team, Chef Gordon was utterly appalled. Ginger cookies don't exactly scream gourmet chicken. What the hell is that? And it didn't pay off. When Gordy Ramsay spits your food out, you've really done something wrong. Chrissa wasn't thrilled. Unfortunately, Chrissa wasn't able to come back from that truly awful dish. Things continued to go wrong. For the restaurant cooking portion of the episode, Chrissa was completely out of her element. The kitchen in general was just too much for this chef. And in the end, it was clear that Chrissa's terrible dish reflected her cooking experience. There they are, the most stomach-churning dishes ever on Hell's Kitchen. If you want to see more videos like this, click or tap that subscribe button. And in order to become a trusted babble topper, be sure to ding the bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.